Hi there, Phil from Wargamer Online here, and today we're going to be looking at WGO's recipe for Lamium Medium. We've mainly worked on this recipe for diluting paints down so you can decant them into dropper bottles, but actually it's it's just like Lamium Medium in many respects, it's useful for all things, so if you're just wanting to dilute a paint, that's the paint down slightly, um, the old classic Duncan Finial paints. Um, I think it's a little bit more forgiving than water. It tends to hold it the pigment and suspend the pigment better. So as you're diluting it down, it works. Lamia Medium is a brilliant product, I have to say. But when you're using it at the quantities I'm using it, um, either for diluting paints down to go into dropper bottles or just using it for washes, etc., then it can get a bit expensive. So I've worked on my own recipe. There's loads of this online, got to say, loads of people using pretty much the same materials as well, that's no surprise. Um, what I've done really is just, over the last several months, practice different ratios until I've got one I'm happy with. And as you can see, it's nine parts water, one part medium. But we'll be going into the process of what's involved in getting it to that. First thing you're going to need is water. Um, you can't just use tap water unless you're planning on using it immediately um, and painting it onto the model and letting it dry use tap water it will go off it will stink it will not be very healthy and it's just a bad idea and ruin your paints even worse um in terms of the waters you can use you can use deionized and you can use distilled what's the main difference well distillation is is just essentially just heating the water up and, and getting rid of uh, all the gubbins that way um deionized or you know purified water as this is but this is basically deionized water it's just called purified water in this instance this is from my local pharmacy i've been as you can see this was a, a two liter tub it cost me about one pound fifty um you can get it cheaper online um but uh as you can see i've been using this for several months i'm only halfway down the bottle um so get that don't use tap water next thing is you're going to need a dropper bottle of some description or some kind of container what i like about these is they're 100 milliliter bottles perfect really i never mix more than that at any one time um just don't have the need for it really and that's still 10 times the volume you get inside a citadel paint pot next up is a matte acrylic medium it's important you get the matte you don't want to be adding a, a gloss effect a, a sheen to your paints um, this is the Windsor & Newton range. Um, I've used different brands in the past actually, but to be honest, Windsor & Newton or Liquitex, they pretty much come across fairly similar and I've never really had any trouble so far in diluting Citadel paints with the Windsor & Newton one. The great thing is as well, we've got a local shop. I think this is about eight pound a tub, um, or about 250 milliliters. You're also gonna need some kind of measuring thing. Now, I do a 10 to one ratio. But to be honest, if you're making a great big vat of this, you could do 10 cups of uh, 10 teacups, uh, nine teacups of water and one teacup of medium. Seems a bit extreme, but the reason I've done the ratio is it makes it fairly simple. Depending on the size of the container and all the rest, it just gives you a recipe that you can scale up or scale down as you need it. Finally, um, a ball bearing, glass bead, plastic beads, BB beads, whatever you want to use. A lot of people shy away from the metal balls because they're worried about rusting, etc., etc. I buy mine from Green Stuff World um, in six years um, and hundreds of steel balls. I've never had one go wrong. Recently, I've been using AK Interactives for thinner paints because this is the six and a half mil bead um, from Green Stuff World. It's a bit heavier, it's ideal for thicker paints to be honest, and in terms of weight to size ratio, it's about four times that of a glass bead. So it's always going to agitate your paints better. I know that AK Interactive do a smaller one, and I've been using that for things like washers and layer paints, who you know generally water down a bit thinner anyway. Before we go too far, um, probably one of the questions to ask is, is there any harm in watering the paint down? Um, I mean, from my opinion, no, particularly bases and layers. Um, I don't know a single base or layer color in the Citadel range that you can use straight from the pot. Um, you know, anybody who watches uh, The Mighty Duncan will know, you know, two thin coats. Um, I'm a big fan of essentially thinning them in advance. Why do I need to thin them down every time I'm using them? I at least take them to a base level. Um, in other words, the thickest I'd ever possibly use them. And then, of course, I've always got lots more of this stuff if I want to, or a tub of Lama Medium to one side as well, just to add a drop every now and then. In fact, actually, I do have Lama Medium just in one of these little dropper bottles if I want to just add a drop to paint as well. So, um, you know, I think there's no harm in it. 
there's a definite difference you know this is um wire flesh it's a base paint it's been watered down um you know it's been diluted and as you can see it agitates quite easily and that's because the paint isn't absolutely you know thick um but it's brilliant um it's not far off of uh, being able to be put into an airbrush probably just a little bit more dilution and in terms of painting your models it will still go down as a base coat um but of course you're probably going to need to do two coats of it which, you know, that's the whole point. Let's get started. The first thing I need to do is uh, get the water into the pot. Now, um, the easiest way, because I've started running out of space on this, is I've got myself, because I uh, can't reach to the water anymore with my syringe, I'm actually just using a little pot just to pour it into. So I'm just gonna pour that into there. It's a nice clean pot, so if I don't use all of this water, I can just put it back in as well. And I'm going to draw off 90 milliliters of this. To be honest, what you could do once you've made one or two mixtures of this is to um, just mark on the side of the bottle where 90 milliliters sits. And then every time you need to make up some more, you don't have to measure the water out. You just have to um, fill it up to the watermark and then add your 10 milliliters of medium. So that's 30. Uh, this is a dangerous bit talking to you guys I'm bound to uh, lose count Ninety. got a feeling I've done this before don't you <laughs> there's a little bit left I'm not even going to put that in the bottle just in case of contaminant but uh, that's pretty close so next thing we need to do let's get a steel ball in there this, by the way, is not an absolute must, but I tend to find, you know, over time, because this is quite a diluted mixture, the uh, medium settles to the bottom. Uh, it doesn't remain suspended, suspended in the water. But I think it's just a good idea to have something to agitate the bottom before you start shaking it up for the sake of price of a small steel ball. But like I say, you could do glass beads or whatever. I'm gonna take the lid off of this just to make it easier to get to. Dip in this, or 10 milliliters of the stuff which is a lot more than you'll see on some channels. But like I say, for me, after much experimentation, you tend to find that um, it doesn't, once you've diluted your paints down, this is more than enough to be able to decant your paints into the pots um, in terms of consistency. Um, but there's also plenty of medium still in there to act as a suspension agent for the pigment. So let's get that in there nice and slow. Put the lid on. Give it a good shake. And there you go. There's 100 milliliters of medium for use for thinning your paints. Um, if you want to see how I use this, how I decant the paints, I'm also going to put another video up pretty much at the same time. You can check that out on how to decant your paints into dropper bottles. Again, been covered quite a bit, but. I've perfected the technique over time and I've also uh, developed these little things which are wonderful little custom made um, funnels for getting the paints from Games Workshop pots. For premium members you can actually download this file to print from the download section of the website. Okay, All you need to do, stick a label on there, don't forget to remember your ratios. Um, of course, uh, feel free to experiment, um, you know you could do uh, 10 parts water, 1 part medium, uh, you know, nine and a half parts water, half part medium, which would be about 19 and 20, but you know, it depends how you want to do your math. Um, for me though, this has always worked when it comes to doing um, the decanting. This was Wild Flesh, did this most recently. Um, I'll just give you an example of how it looks. This was diluted using the medium. I'll just give you a quick idea of how it looks. As you can see, there's still plenty of working pigment in that paint there. It just flows a bit nicer, doesn't it look? already going well. Let's give you a little tilt so you can see it. There you go. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Any questions, pop them below. If not, I'll see you again soon.